interesting guy, man. And, uh, you know, he believes it. So, Kyrie, the earth is flat, right? Yeah. 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 So, whatever. That's news. That's news. Here we go. <laughs> this is the Truth Frequency Radio Network. We are TFR. Truth Frequency Radio. Broadcasting straight to you from a large spaceship, currently anchored over Raleigh, North Carolina, eagerly awaiting the 2017 International Flat Earth Conference coming this fall. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Strange World, where the truth is often stranger than fiction. I am your host, Mark Sargent, the creator of Flat Earth Clues, which propose that all of us are living inside a Truman Show enclosed structure thousands of miles wide. Check it out at enclosedworld.com or just Google Flat Earth Clues. If you can't find it, well, it's probably because you're wrapped up in all the Flat Earth drama, or maybe you're part of the Flat Earth meetups, which means you're not even listening to this show right now. For those of you listening to this on YouTube and you want to hear the show live as it happens, please go to Truth Frequency Radio for the latest schedule. Currently, this show is on Tuesday nights at 7 Pacific, 10 Eastern. If it is not Tuesday night, then you're probably listening to a replay, and if you call in, you're probably going to get my voicemail. Well, actually, it would be a generic voicemail. It would just be some British woman. But either way. Let's see. I get to pick one of my quotes of the day. And, oh, yeah, I give today's date, says the peanut gallery. And, oh, by the way, we have a brand new phone system. So the guy that just called in, 914, he's going to be listening to the show. I will pick you up, but i got to get through my announcements first. And he is from somewhere in New York. So hang on, 914. I'll see you. So brand new phone system. I get to see the phone number, where you're calling from, and everything's much more detailed. And I've even got a backup number. So my 720 number will work. But if something happens, I've got a backup number. Because what I'm doing is I'm routing the old show number through the TFR switchboard and it should work. Anyway, quote of the day is the problem with quotes on the internet is that is you can never be certain they're authentic, <laughs> said Abraham Lincoln. That's great. That's awesome. I'm totally using that one. All right. Uh, that that kind of reminds me of the old uh, four out of three people don't understand fractions. Jeffrey Grupp debate challenge still in effect. If you don't know what that is, look up Jeffrey Grupp. And let's see here. Flat Earth Rally on the Canadian side of Niagara Falls on Canada Day from noon to four. Emails to check in on that is N as in Nancy, F as in Frank, F as in Frank, E as in Edward at gmail.com or flat earth Hamilton at gmail.com. Big money challenge. Still in effect. If you think you can prove the globe and prove us flat earthers wrong, contact Kathy Dunson at P E R E. L-A-N-D-R-A-77 at gmail.com. That's Paralandra77 at gmail.com. Flat Earther, otherwise known as Deep Inside the Rabbit Hole, D-I-T-R-H, is doing a billboard that is going up near the conference center. Uh, there's a GoFundMe, A Stranger's Guide to F-E Billboard. It's going to be running in September, October, and November. It's going to be a printed billboard. We can send people to stand under it with F-E signs when we are there. Perfect. There is a conference. We are hosting a conference which will feature Flat Earth. Rob Skiba will be doing the majority of the Flat Earth section. And that's going to be at takeontheworld17.com. For more information, you can contact Chris Bailey. And his phone number is 440-668-6373. A lot of announcements. And we still got one more. Danoon Institute of Biblical Research presents the summer 2017 conference. This event will be held on the weekend of August 5th and 6th. 
2017. Total conference price is $25. The highlight of the conference is a live debate, Globe versus Flat Earth, presented with experts on both sides, respectfully moderated by Stephen and Yana Jana Benun of Israeli News Live. The debaters are going to be Zen Garcia on the Flat Earth side and Dr. Stephen Pigeon, a perfect victim candidate. It's going to be at the Holiday Inn Gwinnett Center. And let's see here if there's anything else I wanted the peanut gallery before I pick up 914. I am going to totally pick you up 914 because you're going to be my first test call on this new system. Don't forget to see you forgot to say today's date was June 20th. Oh, yeah, it's June 20th. Sorry, peanut gallery. Totally sorry. Okay, we're going to unmute this guy. 914, are you there? 914. Mark, very perfect. Yeah, very professional. It works great. Well, you know, this is the station system, and I didn't use it for the longest time because I wanted to just bypass it. I thought I'd get better results on my own using my own thing, and then Microsoft just messed with me. So uh, I could not. I could <laughs> well, they not. Do. They enjoy that. Oh, I worked. Well, you you've heard the shows. I have worked on that thing for months, trying to with this very hit and miss. It anyway. Hey, how yeah, are no, you? Like I said, this, this is probably the best one yet. Oh, very okay. good. I want to thank you for uh, visiting. You know, that's a very. It means a lot to me. That really does. Cool. I appreciate that on uh, on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. Um. Had a couple of interesting things happen the other day. I went to. Well, maybe I shouldn't say where I went to because of copyright and all that other nonsense. But um, I had actually, <laughs> I actually had to spell it out for somebody. I, I posted a, a, a video um, because she, you know every time you go into to get something at these stores, they always ask your name, and, and I told her flat Earth. Mm -hmm. And at first, she really didn't even acknowledge it at all. And then she said, you know, how, how do you spell that? What? How do you spell flat earth? <laughs> Seriously? How do you spell flat earth? Like it's a real name. So that's it. I mean, you know what? I, I, I'm going to, don't worry. Uh, I'm out there. I'm going out there. I'm going to do what I have to do. Oh. Because gotcha. people are just so asleep around here. It's unbelievable. Uh, but Mark, yeah. um, can I ask We all one? were. One. Oh, we all were at one point. Oh, hey, by I, the way, while yeah, I get you on the phone. Hang, hang on, well, I got you, since I forgot, I, you, you called in before I even had the chance to give out the phone number. Phone number is, by the way, to call in tonight, 720-897-6111. Yeah, seven, sure. oh, yeah, yeah. That is 720-897-6111. And if for some reason that completely fails, which I doubt it, I've got a backup number. We're not going that, though. You know, we're not going to the second ripcord un, until we, we're pretty sure we're going to die. So, anyway, I'm sorry, continue on. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? I, I took a video the other day of, uh, you know, the transparent moon, you know, the daytime moon. Mm -hmm. What do you, what's your thoughts about that? Why is it, why can you see right through this thing? Well, because I think as, all right, I've got two thoughts on it. One, I don't think okay. the, 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 the builders of this place, and I say builders, I'm just, you know, even though some people say, well, you know, if it's divine, yeah, there's yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I and I'm saying it's a builders in general. I mean, again, God probably subcontract out at some of the work. Heck, Solomon did. So if there's <laughs> some, has. exactly. So if, if there's subcontractors here, there may be some slight mistakes here and there, you know, little, little corners that were cut and, and like, you know, the moon, how, it, how the rotation is synced up to we, where we only see exactly one side of the moon the, the entire time, mm -hmm. you know, regardless of the shadows and uh, that's on it. You still only see one side. It's like, what, it doesn't rotate half a degree a month or I don't know, half a degree a year or a hundred years or anything like that. But on the flip side of that, you could say it was done deliberately so that when a civilization like ours reaches a technology level like we are right now, then maybe we're yeah. we were to discover this thing. Maybe we were try we were supposed to figure yeah. it out. I, I do believe we were supposed to figure this out naturally anyway. And that it's only been delayed oh, of course. Of course. by several decades because of the powers that be. But yeah. you can't hide it. You can't hide it forever. So when it comes to anything in the sky, like looking through the moon or how why the moon's crescents don't seem to match up with the sun. I, I I could go either way. It's it's either a design flaw, or it's a des, or it's a deliberate design flaw, either accidental or deliberate. One of those two. And you're absolutely right. It, it it's meant to be discovered, and I've I've told people that too. I mean, it really it is. It's here yeah. to be discovered when you reach a certain power of intelligence. 
Yeah, and why not? You know, that's what we I are. Mean, look, look, I mean, look. I mean, if 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 God didn't want up. us to discover it, then He wouldn't have invented the Nikon P nine hundred with eighty three power zoom. <laughs> and <laughs> wait until the one thousand comes out. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, and, and, <laughs> and and you can get these things for like five hundred bucks. And Nikon, honestly, we should be getting letters from these guys saying, "Oh, thank you, or cutting us some sort of group deal." Because I, I know that most of the Nikon Nikon P900s that are being bought up are being bought up by us. So because it's the cheap, yeah, I'm not no, saying I'm, that. I'm, I mean, Nikon, the yeah. Nikon's a decent brand, but you you know, it, for 500 bucks, you can't go wrong. No, with that kind of telescopic lens, and and I mean, just the uh, precision on it is just incredible. I and mean, I've right. watched it on YouTube. I'm in the process of buying one myself too, and uh, you know, I can't uh, I can't wait until I get one of them in my hands. But you know, nice. Nice. Down the line, I hate to put things on credit cards like to pay cash. Uh, I hear you. Oh, I, hear you. I, used to, I used to love it because I used right, to get I, miles. Not anymore. Miles. Oh, 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 your miles. Okay, yeah. I, I don't even remember that. As <laughs> back in the day. I, fact, I, I never so did miles. that. I'm, I'm <laughs> selling miles. You could actually do that. Yeah, you nowadays. Know what I, Sorry, go ahead. No, no, I was just saying, I, I never even bothered doing that. I mean, I remember it. I remember my, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm in my 40s, so, you know, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I was around that time when it first came out, but I, I never knew what Miles bought me. Because you know, I was never really purchasing on credit, anything on credit cards. Right. Any uh, any other little so things? I'm rambling. But that's all right. Don't worry about it. Oh, I, no, uh, I look, I'm, I'm just happy you got in. You weren't sacrificed to the volcano god. Because, as you know, uh, last yeah, week. Yeah, well, I, you know, but, Last week we were just lining up people. Just they were just jumping off. Four out of every five was lost to the phone gods. It was horrible. <laughs> That's why I wanted to touch base because you, you thought I was three hundred three area code, but I guess you you know it was nine one four. So <laughs> well, the I'm new just system. Glad everybody's the, out there in New York. Yeah, the new system is in fact the next one that's coming on after you is from six four six. That is also New York. Oh, right? okay. So. That's that's the city. That's Manhattan right there. That's a new area code down there. Oh, neat. Definitely catch that one. I'd cool. love to hear what's going on down there because uh, I'm going to be heading down there to do a little, uh, you know, street, uh, you know. Right on. Interviews. Well, not interviews. If I'm even allowed, I don't know what people are going to do. I don't I know. I, I, hey, if it's not and, actually from what I understand, if it's not Los Angeles, you could probably get away with it. New York's not nearly as strict. <laughs> Los Angeles, you need permits. <laughs> New York, I don't think so much. Now, you may, you know, get some hell. You know, people will give you some crap. But uh, but I think you can get away with it. Well, I'll edit it out. Just put the video. I mean, just put the voice. But I just want to do a shout out to 718, uh, Zulu One, you know, all the guys in New York. You know, you're doing guys a great job over here. And uh, everybody cool. else, you know. Right on, man. Really well, thank, thank you. Thank right. you for being my very first call on the new phone system. All right. Thank you, Mark, again. I appreciate it. All right. All right. I'll see you. Oh, oh, one other what, thing, what, Mark. What? I, can't, I, I can't get tickets. Oh, the tickets are out. Uh, they're sold uh, out. E- what do I do? Email, email, me, uh, email me that you want tickets really, really badly, and I will forward them off to the uh, promoter because we're, we're trying to get him to open okay. up a new bank. All right. Bank. We're trying to get him to open up a okay. new well, bank. We'll, all right. We'll talk on email. I mean, okay. Uh, email. Okay, great. Bye. Right. Thank you. Okay, let's go to, let's click on this guy and unmute him. And you are now on Live with Strange World, New York, 646 area. Good. Woohoo! Hello. <laughs> Hi. 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 Well, welcome to the new just... phone system where volcano gods have taken uh, a breather. Yeah, they're taking a nap. Yeah, yeah, we don't need them tonight. I, I, uh, I like it so far. Yeah, yeah, so far it's good. And I can tell you exactly this the new system I tied into the switchboard so I can tell exactly mm-hmm. how many minutes till the breaks and it's uh it's very high tech. It's not like the uh bailing wire and chewing gun wrappers mm-hmm. that I was using before. So Beautiful. what uh, what's on what's on your mind? What's happening in New York? Okay, so is this an observation that I had mm-hmm. um debating like with my friends with the flat earth? I'm not too sure. I just want to know if like everyone else, maybe someone else have noticed this, but okay. So the general consensus is that there's waters above the firmament. And so at the nighttime sky, it all looks black up there. Uh 
So have you ever noticed in the nighttime when we look at a large body of water, say like a lake or the ocean, mm-hmm. it looks black as well? Mm. Like if you've ever been in a cruise ship and you just look at the water, it just looks black, kind of like a reflection of the sky on the Good point. Yeah. Yeah. And, and well, heck, I've, I've been on fairly, you know, the sky isn't even out. You know, the, the stars aren't even out. It's you mm-hmm. know, dusk and it's still black, you know, but most, yeah. most of that is because when you're looking through uh, a dense matter, well, it's not dense matter, but it's denser than the air we breathe. You eventually yeah. it's going to turn black really, really quickly, which is part of my mm-hmm. argument when people say, well, why can't you get a telescope and see Japan from San Francisco? And I go, oh, because they love bringing that one out. They do. And I go, and I, I throw it back at them now. I go, if it was a vacuum, you probably could. But it's not. <laughs> you're, you're, remember, you're only breathing. The average person doesn't know that you're only breathing 20% mm-hmm. oxygen. The rest is nitrogen. Thank you know, it's, it's 80% exactly. nitrogen. And it's basically mm-hmm. you're breathing in a thin version of water. And that means it's going to get more and more distorted in a very, you know, respectively uh, low amount of miles, less than 200 usually. Yeah. And that's without weather. That's on a clear day. 200 miles is about the cap. And mm-hmm. I know the record. I know the record is like 300 and something miles, but there's a reason why that's the record. But yeah, what what's your uh, yeah. is as far as the waters above and the waters below? I mean, it could be a little I'm not going to split hairs with creationists mm-hmm. that, that talk about, you know, how, how the verbiage is translated. But I mean, yeah. if, we're, if we're breathing sort of a thinner version of water, you know, who's yeah. to say that the firmament up there? Yeah. Who's to say that, that we aren't in some sort of air bubble and, and yeah, there, there could be a heavy, a dense water that's up there. Very, very possible. Sure. That, well, why not? That is. And also, have you ever like, um, looked up the temperature of space? Oh, negative two hundred and something Celsius, where it was where it's close yeah. to absolute zero. That one. Yeah, it's like really cold. So I don't know. For me, I feel like I want to do some more exploring on that to see like whether if it's even possible for spaceships to even persist out there. Because if that's a te- if that if you look up the temperature of space and that's the number they give you, oh. we already know a lot of molecules and a lot of liquids would freeze under that temperature. So right. how would rockets and all that stuff even persist? How would the well, electronics wouldn't, work? Wouldn't, wouldn't the metal get awfully brittle in a very short amount of time? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, and like, what knows. kind of metal would... Oh, in fact, the peanut gallery kind of chime, me- chimes in and says mm-hmm. negative 140. Yeah, negative 455. <laughs> really? Negative 455 Fahrenheit? I thought it was negative 200 yeah. or something. Well, either way. I think that's Celsius. I mean, it's, still, it's still super, super, super cold. Well, actually, below exactly. zero, Celsius and Fahrenheit are pretty much the same. But it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. I'm getting a, like a Mandela effect looking at that number because I'm going, uh, I don't know <laughs> that one being that high. But that's okay. It doesn't matter because, yeah, yeah. What, what metal can withstand... And, you know, you, let's talk about the moon missions, you know, where, yeah, mm-hmm. it's not as cold, apparently, on the moon, but you're rotating. I mean, what sort of metals were used on that moon car that went from positive, yeah. positive hundred and something, a uh, hot, what, 200 degrees, it, you know, up to, you know, hundred and something down, you know, w- without, uh-huh. and without what, fatiguing everything. And what kind of suits did they have on? Oh, don't get me started on those. Just, <laughs> I won't, I won't. It's I know a lot of flat earthers get they get on a tangent when it comes to the moon missions. Oh, the moon missions are so taken apart nowadays. I mean, I've got literally <laughs> one picture I keep I keep on my desktop now that has everything uh-huh. in it. It has it has the capsule with the blast <laughs> crater. It's got the the intersect oh. the, the shadows that intersect. It's got the no stars in the background. It's got that perfect Does horizon the, line that looks like it's front screen projection. Small moon, the, the small earth in the background. Like, that's well, a, no, it doesn't that's also have another that. Thing they, it doesn't have that much. Uh, that's just another thing they just, like, messed up instantly. Like, the earth is so much bigger than the moon, yet when you're on the moon, the earth looks as smaller. Like, it should have looked much bigger oh, from know. that distance. No. Oh, no. I, nor, I remember the, the great American artist Norman Rockwell, where he did sort of a, mm-hmm. what the what the moon should, you know, what the, the scene from the moon should look like. And the Earth is huge well, because it would be, <laughs> be a lot bigger. And yet, you know, the, the even the Japanese 
probe that supposedly went around it with uh, HD cameras. Yeah. It's like, oh, look, there's that little Earth full of clouds, so we can't tell exactly where the continents are. That way we can't match up the time date stamp to the continents to make sure it lines up. And <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a piece of crap. Utter crap. So much. Again, they did fine in the 60s. Everybody bought it. Everybody bought it in the yeah, 60s. They, in fact, everybody bought it for about 10 years. And then that was about it. Oh, yeah. It was over. Really? Only 10 years? Well, then the conspiracy uh, started, sure. Oh, way before the internet. The, the conspiracy wow. started, usually, usually with the UFO crowd, because they had copies. They were, remember, they were doing it by hand. They were, like, passing around uh-huh. photocopies of the moon mission stuff, and they were pointing stuff out to each other, but it was slow going. It's not like social yeah. media, where instantly everybody gets it. Uh, but, yeah, they, they were starting to dissect that thing early. Remember, nerds don't like inconsistencies. They, they don't like no, it. they in, don't. Any in any setting, and when they see these, it's like, wait, that doesn't wait. What? Of course, they still didn't know why you would fake the mi- moon mission. Yeah. And then, of course, all the theory as well, secret space program, the aliens, blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. And again, they're fine, but now I can say that it was faked for a completely different reason. Anyway, I'd like to do what one you... more call be- before the uh, break, if possible. Any yeah, shout outs you want to want to throw? Um, shout outs. Yeah. I like to shout out to all the other flat lo- earthers in New York. Right on. Someday we'll all meet. I'm Someday. I'm sure there's a lot of them. <laughs> I have no doubt. I have no doubt. There's like, there's two hangouts happening. Or I'm sorry, two meetups. It happened in Colorado uh-huh. tonight. And another one in Chicago, I think, tonight. And then there's Ooh. two. There's one in Phoenix. On the was one on the 24th. Anyway. Mm-hmm. But uh, let's see if that call. Yes, that call. Nope, that call came in and then it dropped. We'll see if that call comes back. Are there other flat earthers like around the world, like in other languages, like oh, China, yes. France, Japan? They have oh, to abso- be out there. Absolutely. I did a video on it. They're, they're in all languages. In mm-hmm. fact, I saw a live hangout tonight that was being done in Greece. Ooh, it, was all, nice. it was all in Greece. So, all right. That one's coming in from Pennsylvania. And I'm going to, nope, they dropped. That's weird. Oh, uh, Pennsylvania keeps dropping. Yeah. All right. Anyway, all right, Mark, I, I'm going to head out now. Know, Hey, but nice, yeah. nice talking to you, and uh, we'll talk soon, okay? Yeah, I'll call back if I have anything else on my mind next time. Okay. See ya. Okay, bye-bye. All right, Pennsylvania, if you're trying to get through and you can't make it, I'm going to give you a secondary number. You guys can write this down, too. I think it was 215. Write this number down. Uh, there is, let's see if I can get them. Let's see if I can get them. Can I get them? One last... Pennsylvania, are you there? Hello. Hey, Mark. How are you? I'm good. Hey, Mark. Good, good. Glad to hear you. I uh, enjoyed this show with you and Patricia, this last one I listened today. Uh, Oh, by the way, this is uh, Space is Fake, uh, the Boston meetup guy. Oh, right on. Good for you. You've got your big meetup. Oh, I imagine that's why you're calling in. Good good timing, because we have four minutes before the break. And you guys are going to be meeting Perfect. up at the I, Boston Common Frog Pond. Yep, right at the Frog Pond. There's a bunch of open tables. I figured it's a good spot because, you know, it's free. You, there's no obligation for reservations. And, you know, it's public. So, you know, you know we're all paranoid and whatnot. So it's, it's good. <laughs> nice. So you do it out, out in public where, yeah. where it's tougher for the snipers. Right, exactly. But a lot of other people there doing other stuff, so uh, it's better. <laughs> no, no, that's excellent. That's uh, excellent. And you probably saw the other meetups. Uh, Phoenix, let's see, Phoenix, yeah, Boston. Yeah, so many. I think it's all because of IP. Yeah, so many. Yeah. Yeah. I, IPS has, has does uh, have a lot to do with it. He's encouraging. He's like, like going, do it, do it, do it. Now is the time. He's the reason... I started my channel and made my Twitter. He's like, oh, we're going to make Twitter. We're going to blow up, uh, you know, uh, space, SpaceX or FakeX. Uh, we kind of, you know, was canceled the launch because they're nine mile an hour wind because it's really blimps and whatnot. Uh, but no, I, uh, I've got really inspired by his motivation and organization and all these uh, billboards and everything going on. I'm just really excited for everyone uh, to come out. If you're from the Boston area or New England in general, it'd be great. Uh, I'm very uh, prepared. I'm setting up all my uh, pamphlets. I'm making some pamphlets that uh, maybe I can hand out to people. So maybe we all spread out and do street interviews or if there's enough of us, like, you know, signs and who who knows really. Just sure. whatever you what, want, I, guys. Whatever inspires you. That, that sounds wonderful. Sounds great. Yeah. 
That's that's fantastic, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad time. you guys are doing it. And then again tonight, s- simultaneous hangouts happening in three locations: two in Colorado, one in Fort Collins, one in Denver. And then Jake Gibson, who is doing that road trip, he is in Chicago tonight. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's he's f- inspiring everyone too to get together. It's, both, it's IPS and him, and, and just everyone just finally putting their monies up and getting the yep. billboards out, and it's just uh, awesome. Yeah. Uh, what I'm, we've been I'm looking for really. Yeah, very excited. Very optimistic about how things are are progressing, and the documentary film people are already spinning around like bees, trying to figure out how they what they're going to do. Be, you know, how many interviews they're going to do before the conference. So yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. good. Good. I, I don't think I'll be able to make the conference. I'd like. I know it's sold out or whatever, but it'd be that'd be fun. I'm well, sure we'll it, have a. Half it, year, we'll pr- probably have like you, four a year next year. <laughs> well, there you go. If you think you, if you, you know, if you think you still want to go, email me and say that you'd like, you know, and and I will forward it on to the promoter and see if he's going to open up a new bank of tickets. That's why I'm because I'm already getting oh, things, cool. things from people because I'd hate to see people like scalp them or try to sell them on eBay's, you know, to to make a buck. But we, yeah. I think we need, um, I, you know, I think the demand's going to be there. So any, any shout outs, cool. we got 60 seconds to the break. Any shout outs you want to do? Uh, no, not really. Just wanted to say, I love all you guys. I'm really excited for Saturday noon at the frog pond and, right. um, you know, keep it flat. Right on. Cool, man. Well, Hey, well, uh, good, good uh, luck. And, uh, if I don't talk to you before then, and again, if you guys want more for information, just type in flat earth Boston into YouTube and you will get one of the promos. Oh, and anybody with cameras, bring cameras because I don't have great. I only really have my iPhone, so anyone who can record it, that would be awesome because you know I'm trying my best here. Okay, sounds good. All right, man, have a good one. All right, have a good one, Mark. All right, bye-bye. bye You're listening to the Truth Frequency Radio Network. No hate, no hype, no, 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 no fear. Back to Strange World, part two of four. We got a brand new phone system. Well, I mean, it's not brand new, new for me. But during the break, we had 443 area code call in. Let's see what happens when I click this button. 443, can you hear me? I can hear you. What's going on? You know, you're on the air. Um, I, was <laughs> I would be that, really that, nervous that if this is your the, first uh, time. Seriously. No, no, no. It's not. It's not. Okay. No, the, the guy that called earlier, he was talking about the temperature of the oh yeah of space. It reminded me of an episode of the Magic School Bus where they uh, went through the solar system and then they got to Pluto and they all froze. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I don't. Nice. That's probably like more of a millennial age. If there's any millennial ages listening, but. We, I, don't know. We, I, thought, I thought that was funny. That's that's good. The peanut gallery came up with an older version. He goes, uh, that's how the you know, he says two hundred and fifty degrees in the sun and negative two hundred fifty uh in the shadow. He goes, That's how they defeated Doctor right. Doom in Fantastic Four. I go, Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I okay. Yeah. I get I get that one too. Yeah. But I, I just thought that was funny. Because I mean Back that was I mean, when I went to elementary school, that was like the magic school bus, like that was that was this stuff you know what i mean <laughs> that's funny but um yeah and uh for the other guy who's talking about the moon being mm-hmm. uh transparent yeah. during the daytime yeah 
I was thinking maybe just the sunlight because I, I, I've seen a video. I don't know if you've seen it. Um, it's a plane. Like it looks like it flies through the sun. I've seen and that it, too. You know, it wasn't like a yeah. And I'm no Photoshop expert, so I don't know, but it looked pretty real to me. I mean, think, so of, think of what we moon, can do. Think of what we can do with CGI right now, today. And right, then think right. about an yeah, advanced exactly. technology that has access to things that we haven't even thought of yet. Uh, it's yeah, very possible that, that all this stuff is happening. Well, I watched the uh, plane. A few weeks ago, I, I talked about Tesla with you. I mean, I think that's a, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we have some of that technology. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, but I mean, we, we yeah, of course, the military's had technology that's really high end. But I'm talking about, yeah. you know, the. The, the 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 people that came oh, yeah, here before yeah. us, that sort of stuff. Exactly. You know, remember w- yeah. things that we used to call magic uh, are are yeah. not magic anymore. You know, in fact, the what I like to what I hopefully I'm able to get a T-shirt okay. is ma- is science is just magic without mystery. That's all it is. As soon <laughs> as they can, re- about, I was just about to say something exactly like that. Yeah. Just once like, they can I repeat it, completely. once they can repeat it, then they claim it. It's like, oh yeah, we don't have to burn anybody right. anymore. Let's, uh, it's it's ours now. It's like, really, really. So, yeah. 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 But uh, all right, here's here's one thing I found interesting. It's kind of mm-hmm. on the crazier side, but there's a, a card game that came back in the day. It was called the Illuminati card game. I, I, I know this. It. Yep. Yeah, and they have uh, you know, the, the reason and when I first saw it. Was, Back in like oh eight or nine, based on the uh, Twin Towers, that yeah, because it was in the nineties. Yeah, yeah, and you know that was like, well, yeah. how how weird is that? Anyway, I saw they had a flat earthers card. Yeah, and most of the cards that I've seen, they they don't have like explanations. And one for the flat earther, flat earther says you may laugh. But they know something. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, I you may laugh, but the flat earthers know something. Yeah, and, and the NASA card was interesting to too because the NASA the card spotlight of Hollywood. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, with a cutout. Yeah, it was a, it was a soundstage. Yeah, and you combine exactly. the two cards, and it's like it makes a lot more sense now. And and those cards are spooky. I should really I, pick up. I a deck. wanted to pick up a set, but they run for like five hundred dollars. They're five hundred bucks on eBay now. Oh, that sucks. Somebody's got to have a yeah. reproduction. I mean, come on! Yeah, what a great racket that would be. You just fought, get an original deck, and well, then you... both of, both the guys who made it were both named Steve Jackson, and I haven't done any research on that, but I'm sure they're probably either very rich or very dead, <laughs> <laughs> as opposed to mostly dead from Princess Bride. That's an older <laughs> one. You probably don't remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. He's not all dead. But... He's mostly dead. <laughs> What happens if he's but all dead? Well, go through interesting his... thing. That... Sorry, I go found ahead. that whole card game very interesting. Oh, yeah. That's... Yeah, if you guys don't know what we're talking yeah. about, look through, because you'll be able to find it. Just type in Illuminati, Illuminati card game into Google or whatever, and then click on images. Oh, and yeah. there's... A ton of stuff will come up. Yeah, there's a lot there's, of neat stuff flat, out there. The Flat Earthers card was so interesting. I mean, the like, fact... Because oh. a lot of the cards, they don't have explanations. Yeah. And they all have pictures, and the picture says a thousand words. I'll oh, yeah. say that. Yeah, a lot and, of the pictures in there are very strange. And the uh, the flat Earth. I mean, well, one you, you got to ask yourself. You know, it's an Illuminati, Illuminati super high end conspiracy card game, right? With infiltrators <laughs> and all this stuff. Yeah. Why is the flat Earth card in there at all? Why is it in there? And why does it comp- Why does it complement it? Yeah. And why, why is it, it, it's a serious card. It's a mystery card. And that is, you, people laugh, but the flat earth is no serious. It's like, it's strange. It is yeah. a weird, I just barely got into it. And I was like, wow. Yeah. This yeah, is totally weird. weird. I mean, it came out in 95. That's what people have wow. to realize. Like, it's not a new, it's six not a year, new thing. It six years before the Twin Towers. Uh, let's see. Here. The, pe- the peanut gallery says Google is not a synonym for research. Said Dan Brown from the Lost Symbol. Okay, huh. that's fine. Uh, well, I don't care. Yeah, I mean, no, are you kidding? <laughs> Google, please. 
<laughs> I've learned more on YouTube <laughs> than I think I have yeah, in pretty much my entire collegiate career. So, yeah. Uh, so any any shout outs? You can still like Google that? it and it'll lead you to it. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Uh, shout out to any fly. If there's any right down the Louisiana, Alabama, northern Florida area, let me know. All right. Well, I mean, there's bound to be a meetup there eventually. Right now, you know, t- tonight yeah, we've got I, yeah. Denver, Chicago. Next week is Phoenix, Boston, and the week after that is Houston. But we'll get there. No worries, man. We'll get there. Hey, where, where does it say I'm calling from? Just curious. Uh, it says you're calling from Maryland. The phone number. Okay. But it's, I mean, I see 443, but they're trying to match it up with Maryland. Does that make okay. sense? No, it didn't make sense. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, but it is 443, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Oh, okay. That's one. I'm, I'm not going to give out the whole number, of course. But no, we're not. Yeah. We're not. We're not doing drone strikes yeah. tonight. So Amen. Don't have to worry. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's why I asked where I thought it was calling from. But anyway, um, I just got to say, man, keep up the good work. Thanks. And definitely, if anybody is down in that area, shout it out next week or something because I'd really like to. All right. I mean, you know, we're still down hey, south, so group, groups are forming, man. Don't worry. We're, we're, it's summer. We're, I know. We're trying I know. to put them together. Oh, you know what? That's the name of my show, right? That's what I'm going to call it. Groups are forming. All right, man. You have a good one. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. You too. All right, All right. bro. Later. Bye bye. Okay, phone number to call in is the same as before, but it's a brand new system. Well, sort of brand new. I'm forwarding my old show number through the TFR system, which is top notch and not made from bailing wire and stuff that MacGyver would use on his TV series. I know I'm dating myself, but phone number you can call in is 720-897-6111. That is 720-897-6111. Operators are standing by, and by that, I mean me. So don't be mean when you call in, because remember, no matter where you go, there you are. And I know the peanut gallery is going to hate this, but because I don't have a call on hold right now, I'm actually going to go to my email. Right this second, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna re- I'm gonna read an email. Try and stop me. Uh, this one's called uh, crap. No, nope. no, no. Four two five cannot call in again just because I'm gonna read an email. This one says, uh, "Do I have to?" Oh wait, this is actually I'm I am gonna pick this up. This one. Hang on a second. All right, four two five, you're on the air with Strange World. What's going on? Hey, what's up, Mark? Wait, wait. You gotta talk I'm talk louder on the phone. In. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Okay. All right, step outside. I get that signal inside. That's that's okay. You sound pretty good right now. You're uh, are you're you're calling from Washington at the moment? Uh, yeah, that's my girlfriend's phone. I'm listening to the show on my phone. Oh, I got you. So gotcha. she's from Seattle. Cool. We were just up there though. I really like Washington. Right on. Well, were you up there when the weather was nice just recently? Wow, we went the there in December. Oh, that oh well, that's not that's not so good. It was a really wet winter, and I and I actually was not in Seattle yeah. in December. So uh, what's uh, what's going on? What's well, on your mind? Uh, nothing. I just it's gonna be funny that I got on the show. I'm gonna have my <laughs> girlfriend here. She hates the flatter. Why does she hate <laughs> like, it? Like again, first of all, she really likes the grass python. Ooh. So well, he, he is very charismatic. Yeah. Anyways, like, try to explain it to her and, like, try to, like, go slowly into it, and she's not having it at all. <laughs> well, okay, well, how much school did she have? Well, well I'm, she's in her third year of college. Oh, okay, what's her major? Can you hear me? I can. Can you hear me? No. Nope. Yeah, yeah, it just cuts out. Oh, it's okay. What 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 what's she majoring in? She's uh psychiatry. Yeah. Psychology. Yep. I I know some people in psychiatry and psychology and uh, yeah, the, it's a very disciplined road to go down. And so yeah, no no, she's not she's not going to be able to do this. 
She she's gonna literally have to wait till mainstream tells her. I'm sorry. Got to remember, she's going to to get what she, where she's going. She's gonna have to get her doctorate. And to date, we have nobody who's gotten their doctorate come forward and jump on this bandwagon. So I'm sorry to say, mm-hmm. you may have to break up with her. Yeah. So no, no, no. I just I know I, I know you can't say it on the way. air, but look, man, it's okay. It's just you and me. Seriously, she, you know, start going through Craigslist, you know, type in looking for flat earther. You'll be okay. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't give advice like that. But, but, but honestly, there's, there's some people out there that are saying they won't, they won't date any but flat earthers, but I'm not going to wreck it for you. So even if she's listening right now, well, I'm probably cursing. That... But we're on the East Coast, so we're in a, a Jacksonville. St. Augustine, Florida. Yeah. That's why you're a little bit too east for him, probably. But I went to St. Louis last week and we went up on the arch and Tanneran. Yep, I've, I've been on the arch myself. You're breaking up a little bit, just so you know. And you're still breaking up to the point where I have a, you're not saying anything now. Uh, thank you, Mark. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> hey. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Bye bye. Well, that's all right. That wasn't my fault. He he was just in a bad reception area. Even though it should be perfect reception area. Seven two zero eight nine seven six one one one, and. I don't know why my, my one of my fellow flat earthers, Candy, keeps calling and miss call from Candy, miss call from Candy. Can, Candy, hey, um, Peanut Gallery, can you get a hold of Candy and let her know that she can't call me with a new phone system? She's got to actually use a cell phone. Thank you. She's been been trying, dropped after one ring. Well, no, no, Candy's using her, Candy's using her Skype. She's not using a phone number. That's why she's dropping. That's why. I can't boost the signal anymore, <laughs> says Scotty. Nice. No. Oh, geez. Peanut Gal. Hang on. You know what? While you guys are there, uh, hang on. I got to type this in. You're going to hear some loud typing. Have to use regular phone number now. I am using new system. System. All right. That'll probably sound like a horse was trampling on the keyboard but that's just because this microphone is so sensitive anyway 720-897-6111 that is 720-897-6111 and while i'm waiting for oh there's somebody calling in right now hang on one second and the other one will have to go into the queue which is fine but we are picked up with north carolina united states that's me (laughs) Is this candy? <laughs> you got it, dude. What what's going on? What's happening down North Carolina? Not a daggone thing. I'm lonely without kids. And it's hey, that, hey, it, hey, it hang, sucks. Like I think Hey, hang on one second, Candy. I'm not gonna put you on hold, but there's somebody that keeps trying to call in and they're having a devil of a time. Hey, who uh two six nine. Dial a different number, okay? Because the number you're dialing is not working for you. Uh, Dial this number. I'm going to give it to you real quick, okay? It's 213-233-3998. That's 213-233-3998. If you can't get it on the regular show line, try the secondary show line. That's the backup, okay? And then you'll go into the queue and you'll hear me talking, but you won't be able to do anything until I unmute you. As opposed to Candy, who is unmuted right now. Howdy. So, <laughs> hi. So, so you're, you're so you're lonely. You're looking for some radio love. That's what's happening. <laughs> what's funny is um somebody tried hooking up with me coming from this, when I put my number and stuff out there. He emailed me and he's like, just send me a picture. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> no. He's like, oh, I thought you were lonely and you were trying to hook up and that's why you put your number out. <laughs> Oh my God! You gotta remember, men have a completely—not that I endorse it—but men have a completely different set of rules when it comes to the internet. I remember a long time ago, back in the day when I was using AOL because AOL was the only game in town, 
And I was in the, the, you could put in this little profile and in the profile, I actually put my phone number. And I remember the entire time, I mean, we're talking several years, I had like two people called me and one of them was a group of teenage girls. And granted, I was in my 20s at the time, so I didn't really care. But they asked me why I put my phone number out there. And we got into this discussion about how girls can't, women can't, because if they do, men immediately think, oh, well, she obviously wants to hook up. Therefore, I'm going to call her. It, I mean, it does not take men much. I mean, some of them don't even have to have a sip of alcohol to pull that off, you know, because like, oh, well, I can, you know, they, they think <laughs> they have a chance. That's what it's like. Oh, well, ev- that's what all guys think. It's like, no matter what girl it is, it's like, oh, yeah, I might be able to pull that off. It's like, oh, man. And so women get, you know, hit on a lot. There's a reason why there's ladies nights at so many bars late, you know, it's, it's uh, anyway. So I'm sorry you have to go through that. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Um, surprisingly, it was only one person. That is surprising. And, well, um, me and Mark were talking about that yesterday. Really, we could change we that right now if you want me to. If you want me to give out your phone right now, that could change like instantly. No, no, no. All right. I'm good. <laughs> Not at this point. All right. <laughs> They'll go through a lot of digging if they want it now, but like dig- <laughs> digging into your files, make them watch your videos. <laughs> there you go. Uh, no. I- I wanted to say I heard somebody saying that they were upset that the tickets were sold out. I've been trying to encourage people to still come out because, I mean, basically, I am not. I have no idea if this is the truth or not, but most of the things that you guys talk about, we heard already. So for those of us, like, even if you can't get into the conference, come hang out with all of us. We're all going to be there. For the whole good, weekend you know what i'm saying point. like oh yeah yeah good point i mean i'm not going to go to all the seminars because uh, there's going to be lots of people that are going to want to talk so i mean even though i you know even though it's a one track thing where you can literally just sit in you know and listen to people all day the uh, i'm not going to be in there all day because i'm gonna i've got my presentation on the first day and then the word show on the second day but yeah it's a great idea i'm also encouraging i thought people- about that afterwards Oh, did you? Look, I thought you were saying something. But I was, oh, no, no, it's okay. I was we get, saying, it, I thought it, about that. I'm also going to be... Yep, let me interrupt you. What? I said, let me interrupt you one more time. All right, <laughs> go, go ahead. Well, no, I think there's like a half second delay, so no worries. Go ahead. Um, um Remember at the beginning of this, we were like, I'm not missing none of the seminars, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and now it's a different story, I think. I think if you're, if you're on this side of it, though, like the content provider side, then it's a little bit different because you are familiar with everybody and people would rather talk to you than listen to what they hear you say every day anyway. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try to come up with something a little different, but I'm also encouraging people to email the promoter of this, the person that's organizing this, and see if they can open up uh, a new bank of tickets or what's it going to take. Because look, it's June and I'm already getting people that are emailing me saying, what can I do? What can I do? I mean, can you, you know, there could be scalpers before it's over. Yeah, and I thought I had an extra ticket and I was going to try to maybe raffle it up for, you know, you that out as a ticket. But, could, um, but I, I think I'm trying to get Vinny over here. So if he doesn't come, uh, what I say by October, then I'll raffle it off. Vinny, like if that's he doesn't his give name? me a definite answer, yeah, you know, who you Vinny actually is. know Vinny. a guy named Vinny. Yeah, you do. He's always around. He wow. he's a uh, Ponto Pete sidekick. You know who he is. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, I thought it was like East Coast, um, oh, not Goodfellas, but uh, the Sopranos type guy, you know, like Johnny Two Times, or uh, <laughs> Mickey, Mickey, Mickey the Knight, those guys. <laughs> oh, wait, Vinny, Vinny, Vinny the Fish, that's what, that's what Peanut Gallery is saying, Vinny the Fish. The fish? What are we, like, yeah. mermaids? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I want to see if I want to, if I, I can take one one more call before the break. Any uh, any shout outs you want to do before you go? Well, uh, 
shout out to the homeboys who are going to come to my party, which is another thing I wanted to come on here and tell you. July 8th is going yeah, to be, yeah. I'm not going to give my next for you to do that promo, but um, it's going to be July 8th, so I'm going to have a big barbecue. And um, OBO Music's coming up, told him, bring all your music stuff. <laughs> Oh, right on. He has a show uh, right before then. Give me email, so, I mean, I don't have any. email me the details of your July 8th thing, and I will do a promo for you, like I did for all the other cities so far. Yep. Don't, know, don't tell me about it here. E- email, email it to me. You won't review it. Remember, you'd be like, what was that thing you were talking about six months ago you wanted me to do? Oh, uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> I, I got a lot. Of, I'm doing a lot of things, but, but definitely send yeah, it to me. Yeah, okay? I know. All right, right. Neil. I got to run. Later. All right. Talk to you soon. All right. Phone number to call in is 720-897-6111. 720-897-6111. And let's see if this 254 can get in. 254? No. 254? Boy, you are struggling tonight. Everybody else is getting in, but you're just dying in committee. 254, if you're listening, try the secondary number. Because that bypasses... I'm going to pick them up, see how fast I can. Let's see if we can pop in here. 254. Nope. There. 254. Can you hear me? 254. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Well, you got you got three minutes. What's up? Well, I didn't want to talk about anything. I just wanted to say hello. My name is Shane what? Honey. And my name is Amigo Mentoya. You kill my father. <laughs> you know, you referenced are, are that earlier. Really having having uh, having a few drinks tonight? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> no, not me. <laughs> no, why? You don't know me. You shut up. Yeah, I I, I got you. I got you. So I and, and you said that earlier. In the... Go ahead. Do, do what? Go ahead. You can talk. Oh, I was just saying you referenced that earlier and said that guy probably don't even remember that. Maybe he's too, oh. yeah. so I'm, aging my, I'm aging myself. No, no, please. Princess Bride. Yeah, I actually didn't get into that much until much later. I watched it and then it, it kind of grows on you after a while. I, I But it, yeah, it's a very smart, smart movie. A lot of good dialogue. It's a little, uh, it's kind of silly, but... I have, uh, there's a few quotes from it that I like, you know? Yep. Yep. And you know, the, the actress but, that played the princess in that, she was, I loved her. she's also Forrest Gump's girlfriend. Yeah. But she looks a lot different in that movie. Yeah. Yeah. She's still acting now. I think she mostly was quite a bit skinnier in that movie. Yeah. 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 So. But it was good. They were both yeah. very good movies. I like. I know you're a movie buff. I love movies. Oh no, I'm a huge, huge. Uh, yeah, and Peanut Gallery says inconceivable. <laughs> and House of Cards. <laughs> I she, think she, she you was... know not what this word means. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, it was a great, a great cast. I loved, loved it. I mean, how many movies actually get to have Andre the Giant play a giant? I mean, uh, that's, that's yeah, I of... can't think of a lot. Okay, Wait, hey, you got really? we got like 30, right. 30 seconds until we till we go to break. Give me give me some shout outs before you go. Okay, well, you shout out to my husband and my son because I wouldn't be here without him. And shout out to you. Right on. And right on. you know, don't forget Happy Gilmore. And I love the giant and that one that's got the nail in the head. That's a good one right. too. Right from James Bond. <laughs> James yep, Bond. from day one. That's awesome. That's a good one. Oh, did you see what was in the news? I saw it yesterday. I'm going to post it later. But it was yesterday. We're, we're they going showed to a new planet. Oh, okay. New we're, planet they're <laughs> going to try to land on. Yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> All right. Hey, you have a good yes, night, okay? Yes, I know. You too. Bye. Right. Bye-bye. You are now tuned into the truth frequency. We are TFR. TFR. Truth Frequency Radio. Major Cox. Major Cox.
Welcome back to Strange World, part three of four. <clears throat> and normally I would do a shameless plug and also go into Flat Earth News. But because we have the new phone system, which can handle multiple calls, they're stacking up. So let's see. Mark from New York, you're going to have to wait for a little bit because we have Oklahoma City. And let's click on this button and see what happens. Oklahoma, can you hear me? Loud and clear, Mark. This is Don on Oklahoma. Hey, what's going on? Well, it was my first call. I'm new to this and wanted to see if I could rouse some interest. Just got my 10-inch Mead telescope a little improved mm -hmm. and will be coming to the event. Wondered if we could maybe do anybody be interested in doing a live demonstration. Wow. You mean you're, I mean, you're going to bring a telescope to the, the conference? Well, I certainly could. I was noticing over on the beach, uh, you know, it's it's an hour away or so. Yeah. The Wright Brothers Monument is there, almost straight across. Nice. Sure. That'd be that'd, that'd be, be awesome. That'd, that'd be great. To shine a, something to shine a uh, laser on and see if we could pick it up 10 or 20 miles away. Sure. I mean, well, I mean, you're still going to get some probably some beam dispersal. Uh, you know, Jaron tried that and... Yeah. and but but yeah, there's definitely something we could we could try. That's that sounds like a great idea. I love it. I was wondering how to get an email out or someone how we Yeah, can... yeah, yeah. Do do this. Email me the you know the yeah. my standard email m sergeant23 at comcast.net with what right. you're thinking and what I'll do is I'll forward it to the uh, the beak group. You know, the the tip sure. of the beak, th those guys, and see what comes back. And, and also forward it off, off to the event promoter. That's a, that's a great idea. I like it. I like it. Okay. That was my call. Hey, thanks for taking my call. Hey, no, thank you. That's that's a great thing. And, and talk to you soon, okay? You bet. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. And let's move on to the next one, which is Mark from New York, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, Mark. It's Mark. <laughs> <laughs> how are you sir <laughs> i'm fine how are you man <laughs> i just love I, lo I love the new phones it's awesome I, it's pretty cool being able to for you to pick them up stack them up hold them we can listen it was good that worked. yeah yeah i mean i i probably should again it was me being stubborn uh yeah in fact the, the station was giving me crap it's like why didn't you do this a whole long long time ago and it's because because you know <laughs> why why don't you why don't you quit drinking dad because i'm not a quitter you know, it's one of those things I'm where I, I would not let it die. I said, like, going, there's got, because I used to troubleshoot a lot of software and I went through the freaking gamut. I mean, I went through so many different things trying to get this stuff to where it was tolerable and I just, I just couldn't come up with anything. So, in fact, you saw what happened last time and we, we lost 80% of the callers to the volcano god, which was, I mean, yeah. sorry, those are just not good odds. <laughs> It was fun for me, though, because everyone that kept <laughs> calling, and as soon as they were thrown into the volcano, they immediately just came back <laughs> and jumped right back in the line. <laughs> it, was like a, it was like a water slide. Yeah. People are all with kids just keep it running back in. Punishment. Like, yeah, it was. But I mean, I got a lot of them, but it was painful. So this way, yeah, and I could watch yeah, everything. I could time it down roulette. to a second. So yeah, phone roulette. So, but this one, again, this show is called. Uh, groups are forming because as we speak right now, there are three flat earth meetups happening two in Colorado. And then That's Jake Gibson's awesome. got one happening in Chicago. And then we got Phoenix and Boston next week. And then Houston the week after that. So yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, you so, know what? Let, 
shout out to everybody in New York, all those New Yorkers who call me out. That's awesome. I love you guys. Email me. Let's see if maybe we can get, if I can get enough people, we can meet like in Rockland County. That's pretty central to a lot of people because I've been finding out there's a couple others around here in Rockland County, um, a little further north, make them down. But uh, email me at Zulu1, Z-U-L-U-O-N-E-0-1 at yahoo.com. And we'll see if we can get a meetup together. That'd be awesome. I'd love to cool. meet you guys. You don't, you don't want me to give you out your phone number then? No, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You guys didn't miss it ah, last week. Right. I, 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 put, I put your phone number out there, and then all of a sudden I see a message from you in Skype going, No! <laughs> so I had to yeah. delete it. Yeah, out I was of... trying to Skype really fast. Email, email. That's what it too late. <gasps> yeah, well, it. Well, right. Hey, That's look, right. imagine being me. Who I I can't even answer my phone most of the time. <laughs> Although you exactly. know what, I did answer one last uh, night. I I answer everything from New York and Los Angeles generally because uh, if it's if it's during the day because it could be some sort of producer thing. But I actually got a call from Beverly right, Hills right, last right, night. Sure. Beverly Hills. Really? Yeah, I know. I was going, what? Really? Why in the world? You know how that goes. You know, so, you know, some rich kid mm. sitting around listening and stuff going, man, he put his phone number out there. We should call. Yeah. Maybe yeah. they'll talk about it at the, uh, at the country club. Exactly. That'd be <laughs> awesome. Yeah. I yeah, am, but, but it was, it was odd. I picked it up as going, okay, well, no, at first I thought, okay, please, please tell me it's a celebrity. That, that just came on board, you know, who knows, you know, in the, uh, in the it's like, who could maybe it's the kid take, of a celebrity. celebrity and then like, okay, tell me more about this flatter thing. But it was, uh, it was just your average rich Beverly Hills type person. I think. Maybe, maybe it's the, the son of a producer or somebody. I know. Again, and, yeah, know. again. Yeah. I, I, I will listen to every message that comes in. But unfortunately, there's just too many calls, and I mean emails. They just keep stacking up. The I can't I can't get through yeah. all of them. But I try to spread the. I mean, every once in a while, like last yesterday, I picked up two calls, and one of them. By the way, it, this little on a side note, I will get calls from unknown. You know, people will generally just block block it before they they call me, and those are usually hostile. There was a guy that was giving me grief for a while there, and and he and and I go. Um. And we got to, we got into it like couch? five. The what? The trolls are getting off the couch. No, this wasn't necessarily a phone call. Troll. This was more of like a science enthusiast, oh, okay. first timer. He and he was pretty nervous, and 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 I, he was saying, "Well, you know, it's never going to last." Was going really because it keeps resonating, and and he goes, "Well, there's a lot of stupid people out there, and you're one of them." And I'm going, "Well, that's the end of this call. <laughs> so, thank you, for playing." So. He just couldn't that's exist. There. Like, there are a lot of stupid people out there, and you're one of them. Oh, okay. Have a nice day. He's <laughs> uh, uh, like, okay. Again, if yeah, you're gonna I, slip, if a, you're gonna slip in insults right away. Then yeah, you're done. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to start there. And I got a quote regarding meetups and things. Yeah. What do you got? Uh, this this is the power of gathering. It inspires us delightfully to be more hopeful, more joyful. More thoughtful, in a word, more alive. That's nice. by Alice Waters, and I'm not sure who she is, but I think that's a, that's exactly how I feel about the conference that yeah. I'm going to get to. I mean, and now finding out all these people are closer, maybe we'll meet. I'll actually meet a, another person in hum, you know, another human in person before yeah. the conference. But that's how I feel it is. Oh, I agree. It's awesome. The and peanut I, gallery, and I'll, has... and I'll scout my ticket for t- for five thousand bucks. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll still go. I got, a, I got a VIP. Yep, I got a VIP ticket, and I'll sell it for five thousand uh, dollars. We'll see how how it goes. I mean, people, people go may there. be selling I'm still them. Going. I'm still going anyway. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's true. That's the follow up yeah, no, quote from the peanut someone. gallery: "Is anyone who stops learning is old, whether twenty or eighty. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. The greatest thing you can do is keep your mind young." And that is Mark Twain. Nice. 
excellent. Um, I hate to do this to very you, good, but very good unfortunately, you, I've got all two right. Calls yeah, no problem. Already, I'll go. Already backing up. So, but hey, man. All right. I will uh, talk to you soon. Shout, shout out, out to uh, shout out to Candy and Shane and Honey, and uh, <laughs> and I was gonna just real quick. I was gonna reference. Uh, I it's like the peanut gallery is the stig from uh, what do you call it the uh, car show where you, you don't know who he is. Oh, oh, to, oh, I'm to from, think of, I forgot the name uh, of the show. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh the British God. show. Oh, crap. Uh, what's yes, it called? Yes, I'm Pinnick, an idiot. Pinnick I totally yeah, yeah, this, this went stick. blank. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm right. Hang on, hang on. He's, he's typing in. Top Gear, or, Top Gear, Top Gear. Or, top Gear, yep. All right, man. Yeah, him him or her shall be referenced to as the stig from now on by me. <laughs> cool. All right, man. Hey, all right, have cool, a good cool. one, right? Awesome, man. Keep up with the good work. Love right. everybody. And uh, again, email me guys and we'll see if we can do a hangout. Uh, meet All up. Right. I'll do a hangout cool. later tonight anyway. All right, bye. <laughs> All right. We're the big bird. All right. So let's pick up who we're going to pick up. We're going to pick up Los Angeles. Los Angeles, California. You're on with Strange World right now. What's going on? Hey, can you hear me? Oh, I can. Hey, this is uh, this is the Horny Sheet Show, Mark Sargent. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing well. Are you are are you recording this? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just live on the call. I found out you were uh, you were doing your show, and I was like, oh man, I like watching you. So uh, I called in. I have a, a little something fun to share. Shoot, we got. So I uh, ordered a pizza, uh, and uh, I put in you know the web. I put in my name was uh, Earth. First name is Earth. The last name was Is Flat. And I sent the pizza, uh, you know, I ordered the pizza in about 30, 40 minutes, you know, it's taken forever. So I, I was looking out my windows and I see the pizza guys at the house next door or across the street from me. And I just moved here. So I like got the address one number off. Okay. So oh, no. I have to go outside. What's that? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. So I go outside and uh, I have to yell, you know, hey, pizza guy. And he turns around and he's holding the pizza. I was like, uh, it would be a pretty crazy coincidence if my neighbor ordered a pizza that I think is mine. And so he's like, okay, hold on. He looks at the ticket, right? And he gets the ticket. He goes, what's the name on the ticket? <laughs> so here, that just prompts me to yell to my whole neighborhood here in this suburbanite neighborhood. Um, Earth is flat from oh, my, my lawn. So there you go. And then he comes over and he goes, so uh, that's an interesting name. I said, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's true. You know, he goes, well, a friend of mine mentioned that to me once. I said, is your friend a flat earther? And he goes, yeah. I said, wow. And I started telling him uh, how the, uh, he goes, he goes, well, how do you, uh, you know, what's on the under, underside of the earth? And that's when I just said, well, this is perfect, buddy. So I flipped open the pizza and I, I put one of the sauce containers in the middle to act as magnetic north Mount Maru. And I had the other sauce container and I had a little flap on it. I said, imagine this is the compass and you're looking at north. So I just showed him how to go around the, the pizza and turn it like, you know, this is north and south and, and how you circumnavigate the earth. And he was just, he pretty much left with his jaw drop, Mark. And, and, and I gave him your, uh, I, I made a tiny URL link and I put your Flat Earth Clues YouTube video in there. So you can literally right now go to tinyurl.com slash pizza earth or earth pizza. I'm not sure. And it'll go to your uh, director's cut. So nice. the guy's got some stuff to research. <laughs> nice. That's great. That's awesome. I, and again, yeah, it's, yeah. There, there are so many closet flat earthers out there that you probably walk by and never know. Heck, there was a video I just liked the other day. I, it, and it's it's on my, um, on my liked section on my playlist where there was an eight-year-old kid interviewing a five-year-old girl about it. And I'm going, wow. how, is, how is this happening? I mean, the parents weren't even in the room. I'm going, okay, if well, this is happening there, then there's a lot of kids that are parroting this crap. So that's awesome. Wow. Yeah, it was, it was really eye-opening to see. I, I just looked at the guy when he said his friend's a flat earther. I looked at him right in the eyes, and I said, uh, it's spreading, man. You should look into yeah. it. And, and at the look on his face, you know, he, his jaw, he, he left with his jaw dropped. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah, two days ago we hit seventeen point six million, which is massive. Yeah, and I hear they keep uh, deleting videos. I, I know uh, another popular streamer had some uh, copyright strikes on a video that had gotten like striked already in the twenty fifteen, and and I think uh, 
They're just trying to take content down. They're removing a lot of videos or something. Well, the algorithms keep the algorithms keep changing. As far as people getting completely smacked, I haven't seen anyone go down for the count. I mean, Eric got went down for a while, and ODD, of course, went down for a while. But you know, no, 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 we're we're still, you know, we're we're getting token resistance, from what I can tell. Hmm. So it's don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry. I had, <laughs> oh, that's all I had to share. Keep going, and um, I'm enjoying the show, Mark. Um, cool, man. Keep going, brother. All right, Matt. You have a good one. Take care. Stay flat. All right, phone number to call in, and we still got 11 minutes to the next break, is 720, yes, Peanut Gallery, I heard the echo, that was on his side, it wasn't that bad though, 720-897-6111, that is 720-897-6111, and since the other call dropped while I was talking to Los Angeles, I'm going to try to read an email, first one of the night, and no, I'm not going to pitch a no-hitter tonight. Uh, This one's called, I Believe. Dear Mark, first, I believe the earth is flat. Second, everybody thinks I'm crazy. I am a registered nurse in a small town in Kentucky, USA. About a year ago, I started having a very strange, very real dream. Thus, I began my search for the truth. I am a deeply devout believer and follower of God. I was raised in a strict fundamentalist Baptist home, later to my family's horror, converted to Catholicism. I have studied every denomination in between, always searching for something I knew was bigger than anything I was hearing or being taught. I'm not sure if you believe in God. However, somehow my search has led me to you. I believe Antarctica will inevitably play a significant role in the end. Ooh, sounds ominous. I wanted to initiate this dialogue with you in order to pick your brain with any other information or insight you may have in reference of the Flat Earth Theory. I feel an urgency in time that is hard to describe. I have read everything, including your book, that I can find. Any additional information would be very valuable and appreciated. Sincerely, Robin Arvin. Thank you, Robin, and I will try to send you some more stuff. And there were two people to try to call in, and then they hung up because I was reading the email. I am sorry, guys. Seriously, with the new phone system that is being brought to you by the courtesy of TFR, uh, you don't have to worry about uh, about going on hold or anything. So if a call comes in, I will pick it up as soon as it pops up on my screen. And if you can't get in on 720-897-6111 for whatever reason, like 443, they're trying. I don't know what's happening there. But if you can't get in on that number, try this number because this will bypass my forwarding, which is 213-233-3998. That is 213-233-3998. Okay, let's try 443. Click on him and unmute. Four four three. Wait, have I already talked to you tonight? Yeah, but I just want to com- <laughs> comment on the uh, guy who's dating a uh, psychologist. Yeah. Um. There's a saying. It says, "You find me a sane man, and I will cure him." That's the foundation of psychology. Yeah, good point. Oh, you well, you heard what I said to him. It's like, look, I mean, if she's a serious psychologist, I've I've dated. Oh, I know. I, I, I'm backing you up. I'm backing oh no, you I up. <laughs> I helped put a clinical psychologist through uh, her PhD, and uh, you know, when they're on that sure. track, they're not they're not getting out of it. So it, no. and there's no there's no way she can be a flat earther and a clinical psychologist at the same time. No. It's just not going to work. So. And He's that's got a shame. A... I mean, that that should be a serious problem. Oh, yeah. That like, but it's not. <laughs> he he. Now and now, in all course, fairness, I mean, you got so much stuff. Oh going God, on. Yes. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm well, sorry. well, the the girl, like for example, the girl that that I that I dated, and we're again, we're not. You know, we never got married, and she's doing her own thing out in Indiana. She's a full blown shrink. And she entertains the idea. In fact, she was even thinking of writing a paper on it at one point, I think. But yeah, is you know, and she mentions me in passing to other people to mess with other psychologists because it's one. Of, it, it is one of the craziest things you could ever say in in a in a, in a psychiatric session. You know, other than saying you're Jesus, yeah. you're Napoleon, saying that you're a flat earther. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're going to look at you. Okay, I'm going to mm-hmm. prescribe you something that's going to be. Really, really strong. So, anyway. Uh, anything else? And that's 
And that's really, really, really sad because I I came out of a I was in the hospital for two months yeah. six months ago. I was in a coma for four days and I hope that it doesn't it, it dissipate my argument, but it's you know, I realize, I've realized this beforehand and the fact that people want to label other people as like just straight psychopaths. I you believe it's flat earth. You're you're crazy. It's you're it's the conditioning. I know, man. Well, Look, I I was yeah. one of those that probably had harder time than most. I used to, I'm not making this up. I used to literally collect antique globes. That was one of my things. I know yeah. you're thinking, oh my God, you're a strange guy. But it's true. I collected bookends. No, I mean, that's that's how I started. I was like, you all are all idiots. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. and why would you ever think the earth is flat? This is yeah. idiocracy at its finest. And right. sure enough. Sure enough. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, man. I, and, I, and I that's the sad thing. Yeah, yeah, I got I, you. I, I got you. But I, I, I gotta say, this. all millennials, anybody who's a millennial out there, you know, that's the problem because they have grown up on this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Totally. Later, man. All right, man. Have a good one. See ya. All right, we got uh, five minutes to the break. If anyone wants to sneak in on this one, well, I'm reading this email called "Help." Hi, Mark. Have you seen or heard of Larkin Rose's well-known anarch? anarchist yes it's a video about flat earth stuff understanding versus believing video explaining how earth is a globe using three times yard three x yardsticks one in maine one three thousand miles away and one in arizona i am the third another three thousand miles away in hawaii the video was on facebook and is also on youtube uh if you have the time could you watch and explain the flat earth side to explain thanks in advance warren from uk okay understanding versus believing video check it out on youtube and hang on, hang on. Yeah, there's a call. 360, 360 area code from Longview, Washington. You are on right now. And you got four minutes. Go. Hi, Mark. It's Fred from Longview. I just wanted to comment on that guy that was talking about seeing through the moon. Yeah. I believe that it's sort of like those clear light bulbs and that it's multiple bulbs to light up the different uh, faces of the moon. And that is why you can see through it when, it, when mm. it's on, because it's basically clear. So when you can see through the moon and see the stuff behind it, I think that's why. Huh. Could be right. That's interesting. Yeah, why, why not? I, again, I can't, I can't shoot that down because... When it, when it comes to the sky, I, I've told people, and they say, oh, it's a cop. Oh, no, no, no. Anything's possible up there. Virtually anything. Right. And I, it's, nothing is off the table, so to speak, when it comes to the sky. So, yeah. Right. I, and that can be a, if it was something different, but that, that's as close as I can figure it. You know, so I figured I'd leave that comment just so that guy has another point of view to, to look at it from. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I figured I'd just say howdy to and uh, keep up the good work, my friend. Hey, happy to do and, it. Uh, and you guys all have a great night. And hello to all the flat earthers out there. <laughs> I have got to, because I'm, I'm at work again, so you guys have a great night. All right, man. Yeah, you have a good one, too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. And the peanut gallery has a comment from the psychology standpoint, which says sometimes if you want to change a man's mind, you have to change the mind of the man next to him first. And that was written by Megan Whalen Turner. And somebody was trying to call in just for a second there. And remember, if you can't get in on 720-897-6111, there is a backup number. And let's see if we can pick up this guy real quick. All right. You got... 269 area code coming from Kalamazoo, Michigan. You got less than two minutes. Go! Hey, what's up? It's the Reverend. Reverend. Oh, normally you have, need more than two minutes. What's up? Well, I called in through uh, through voice over IP to help test the new phone system. 
Oh wow! So you're so you're voiping through a Skype number, which is forwarding to another Skype number, which is going through a switchboard. Nice. And it's working. Nope, I'm not even. I'm not even on Skype, dude. I'm like one of the super old, old school customers for VoIP. No, no, and no, no. But you're you're VoIPing into seven two zero. That seven two zero number is a Skype number, and then that number is being forwarded to another Skype number. So it's being forwarded. Yeah, but it totally works. So great. Oh, I see. oh I get it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So it's like all crazy futuristic connection. Oh yeah, so, this yeah, this 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 is part of the future that I like. The rest of the part I don't. I parts I don't like so much. But this is kind of fun. So anyway, you got you got like forty five seconds. Any any quick things you want to do, or or do you have something long that you want to talk uh, about after the break? No, dude. I was just hoping you test out the new phones. This oh yeah, it seems the fair, the fair seemed, number. Did, so, did, were you here last week and we killed all those people? Yeah, I was. I, in fact, I think I recorded it on the stream. Oh, it, was, it was horrible, <laughs> horrifying. So many casualties, but but no, this time we're they, good. Uh, Everything's great. So I think after after edits and stuff, you could have not. It would have been like thirty minutes. Whatever. Anyways, <laughs> it's cool. There's there's plenty of other episodes. Go watch those people. Yeah, <laughs> know, they're not all gems. That's for sure. All right. Um, oh, hey, we're, we're going to break right now. So, hey, stay. Uh, bye, Reverend. Hey, ladies, man. Peace out. All right. No hate. No hype. No fear. We are the FR. Your protection from, from, from deception. There's no lyrics, and I actually don't know the lyrics to this part. Seriously, they don't. So I'm not going to sing it. Not going to do it. Oh, wait, are we on? Let's fade it out real quick. All right. Welcome back to Strange World, part 404, your last chance to call in. We've got Twin Cities, Minnesota on the line. We're going to pick them up in a second. But I can't forget, because every once in a while it slips my mind, and that is, yes, that was Joe Jackson stepping out from his album, Night and Day. All right, let's pick up Minnesota, shall we? Minnesota, 612 area code. What's going on? Hey, Mark. West Day, Splat Earth News. How you doing? Oh, my Lord. I'm just glad that when we do this, oh. there's no video, because then it would just turn into, as you know, the Blair Witch Project, because your your technical of skills. Course. Of course. Yeah. Hey, by the way. Hey, I may not be a. Uh... Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, did, did <laughs> we you both said hear... go ahead. Did you hear? Well, that's because we get like a half second delay when we're piping through all this stuff. The that the the Tim Osmond character, the Flat Earth's number one troll, he actually was dumb enough to show up. I knew it was going to happen too. I knew is he showed up at the Denver meetup tonight and was live streaming from it, and they found out, and so oh they God. went over and recorded him. They have him on video. And they're going to run. Oh, wow. Because I just, I just watched the video with uh, Lori when she's been disappeared from Flat Earth for a while. Matter of fact, Patricia even said on on your guys' hangout that she's out of Flat Earth, but she's not. No, nobody's out of of Flat Earth. She was talking about him. Yeah. Yeah. She was talking about him. Oh, really? In a good way. And I'm like, really? Whatever. I guess I guess somebody was he defended he defended her or something. I don't yeah. Know. Well, yeah, yeah. There you go. The friend Hang of my out. friend is my enemy. Yeah. Whatever. Right. 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 Exactly. Uh, By the way, there's anyhow, a quote. Um, there's a quote from the peanut gallery for you. Um, clothes make the man. Naked people have little or no influence on society. That was from Mark Twain. I still don't get the naked thing. What? Where did that even come from? Just I, because I had my Shirt off one day. On yes, hangout? Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid to ask. Okay, first off, the fact that oh, you wait were a shirt, minute, wait a minute. No, no, no. I know what it was. I know what. It, no, it wasn't me. I went to a uh, you now 
and there was a guy that was in my hangouts who played the guitar, and I said, well, let's not do it here. Let's go over to uh, you now. And the guy started stripping with his guitar. That's why they were saying that. I get it. Wow. Now I get it. It's not me. Pretty Some crazy enthusi- nut. Anyhow, pretty enthusiastic. what I was going to say, I am not, I'm not a, a psychologist, but you are a little loopy. But you got to figure who, who it's coming from. So, yeah. Right. <laughs> Good point. Good point. Wait a minute. I'm a little loopy? <laughs> How's that even possible? Crazy. I'm, oh, not, You're I, in know, I know on, what loopy means, man. I know what, I know what loopy <laughs> means. Oh, and Candy, Candy, Candy says she's got on. the video and she's going to send it to me. Uh, she could probably oh, drop great. it. It's got to be, probably... be that one. I left it on my page. I left it on there for everybody to see. Because oh, I wait, is that so she, Oh, she's talking about your video. I know, no, Candy, if Candy's yeah, listening, no, I don't, videos. I don't want that. I don't want to see it. No, I don't, I don't want to I'm see sure it. I have a don't. hard enough time with you oh, the guy, trying to. The guy just went down, the guy went down to his boxers and I'm like, okay, the, 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 the face, the expression I had when he did this is priceless. And that's when I cut him off. So it's not a very long video. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, oh man, it's hot in here. And he pulls his shirt off and he starts playing his guitar. He's like, damn, it's hot. And he starts pulling off his jeans. And I'm like, okay, you're done. Absolutely frightening. That was the end of that. All right. Yeah, it was. Mm. Anyhow, I wanted to talk about the, uh, I had see, what did I see? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my mind just went blank. Really? Uh, that would be uh, you, you, a second. You'd be distracted. Well, I, actually, I, actually I, do, I do have that power, believe it or not. You do. <laughs> I do have that power. It's one of my weird, yeah, you know, I have, I, have, I have one of those stupid superpowers and that I have, I have the power of distraction and I don't know why I can even distract myself. I, 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 think, it came, I think it came from, from being with that psychologist. You learned a little, <laughs> I can manipulate the conversation. Oh, I don't even try to manipulate the conversation. <laughs> I just, just. For whatever, I mean, I can literally sit, I've watched waitresses, and again, I'm not a stunningly good-looking man, but I've watched waitresses just blank out, and I'm not even saying anything. I just look at them, and they look, and they look at me, and they go, I have no idea what I was doing. <laughs> okay. And this, is why you're not, and this is why you're not allowed in Denny's anymore. Well, there you go. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, so man. anyway, um, yeah, uh, just, something was happening. I got nothing. I, got nothing. I, I can't right. remember what I was going to throw out. Of. Yeah. No sorry. worries. No worries. Yeah, anyway, I'll just say hi. <laughs> All right. Say hi. Are you are you working? Yes, I am. Well, no, I'm not working. I start in about ten minutes. Got it. In the uh, in the what prison. A stupid time to start. In the prison. Ten forty-five to six forty-five. That is a stupid time to start. Read the quote I gave for anyway. her on air. Hang on. What quote? Hang on. What quote? Um, sometimes you want to... What quote? I'm, I'm looking. Peanut gallery is giving me crap. Because I there was a quote that I was supposed to read for candy. But I don't... Is that a guy? Oh, 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 wait. Here it is. Question. <laughs> is... Yeah. Is peanut gallery <clears throat> a, a username? Yeah, it's a username. It's he, it's a guy that helps. Okay. It's a guy that helps me remind me of stuff that's supposed to happen on the show. But he only he all only this says time stuff. I've been thinking that you were calling. Uh, all this time I thought you were calling the people that were in chat the peanut gallery. Oh no, like, no, it's just me. one guy. It's just one guy, and it's okay, not gotcha. in chat. It's not in chat. The chat has has to do their own thing because I'm I'm too busy. But the it's a guy. No, it does it through Skype. Oh, I'm sorry. The quote for Candy is Candy is upset because you didn't read the quote I gave her on air. Candy for the soul. That's the quote from Daniel Steele. Candy for the soul from Daniel Steele. I don't know if that's much of a quote. Hey, All right. Uh, anyway, I got I got other you calls. Got I can pick up. Is there anything else before I? You got to you got call. You got to uh, quote uh, Willy Wonka. Candy is dandy. Candy is dandy. And and I am one of the few people. I actually have a golden ticket on my wall, framed, signed, given to me That's why. by, by uh, Mike TV, 
who's still alive. All the kids are still alive, but Mike TV was the one that was selling them. Yeah, he's the same age as I am. Yeah, go figure. We're he's 56 old. years old. Wow. Yeah. All right, man. Hey, you have a good one. Stay flat, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, later, David. Okay, bye-bye. All right, guys. 18 minutes till we close down this show, and you still have a chance to call in tonight. And there's been a lot of calls, and the volcano gods, almost non-existent. I can't tell if people drop off the new system because they're fat fingering it, or if it's a forwarding thing. Like, there's a here's an international call. Let's see what happens. Because what happens is it pops up on my screen. Yep. Come on, guys. Seven two zero eight nine seven. Let's try this one. Six one. I'm sorry. Five one zero. This looks like California, Oakland, Oakland, California. Uh, no, 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 close enough. Uh, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Oh, Pittsburgh, California. Yeah. Cool. What's going on in Pittsburgh, California? Which is tough to say. Oh, man. Uh, it's, it's been a little bit sticky up out here. The weather don't pick up. Kind of hot now. Gotcha. Gotcha. There's going to be a there's going to be a heat wave in Arizona tomorrow. I hear that uh, people are going to be dying in the streets. Yeah, well, they said it's supposed to be a heat wave on Thursday up out this way. So, uh, yeah, man, uh, pull up your umbrellas and uh, bring out your martinis. Right on. That's outstanding. Most definitely. But, uh, yeah, uh, man, just excited, man. Uh, the, the, even though the conference sold out, I didn't get my tickets. I'm still coming. Good. Uh, you know, uh, Go anyway, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, hang out, right. hang out with some people. Yeah. I mean, look, the conference doesn't run twenty four seven. I may even show up a couple days early yeah. just just to hang out with people. And that's my whole thing because uh, you know I really want to get an opportunity to kick it with my boy Mark and the crew and get an opportunity to see you. I figure if I uh, stay around him long enough, I get the opportunity to finally uh, shake shake your hand and all that other type of good stuff. And yeah, like Andy said, man, it's. Uh, for the content, even I'm not a you know a, a content guy, but I'm fairly on the forums pretty much daily. So you know the nice. content, we pretty much used to that. Uh, it's just I'm, I'm really there for the for the uh, for the whole social aspect of it all, man. And if you had to snap some pictures and all that other type of good stuff, and uh, yeah, just continue to uh, make the thing grow. Excellent, outstanding, well said. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I, I'm super excited. Uh, I got another. So I've really been kind of turned up a little bit in my job because, uh, uh, you know, being that I'm a, a commercial bus driver uh, and I have a split ship, I have, you know, we have time on our hands to sit back, kick it, and just talk and just shoot the breeze. So mm-hmm. uh, another guy, uh, my job, uh, I, I turned him on and over the weekend. And, uh, you know, your, your video was the first one I sent him. And, when he came back Monday, it's like, man, dude, he said, I didn't sleep, man. I said, yeah, I thought you have pretty interesting. And, uh, you know, uh, as you go through this, you learn how to choose your audience and what type of information to try to throw up out there. And I think the biggest tool that I've been using for folks is, is like a lot of people call in, I just think, you know, small, small things out there, like the moon, like, hey, why are we able to see the moon in the daytime? And why is it transparent and so on and so forth? gets people right. scratching their head and you know and uh and i think my my, my biggest um uh, uh tool that i use is to tag that to see you know where people's mindset do you believe in it do you not and one of the young one of the young i was talking talking to he was only 26 so naturally he's like me you don't know nothing about no more missions you know so also for him he was already kind of skeptical anyway so that right there to play one thing to another. And, uh, yeah, it's been working out pretty good. So, yeah, just super excited the way everything is going. And, uh, yeah, like I said, man, can't, man you know, these, uh, yeah, November can't get here fast enough. But uh, these months are going by fairly fast, though. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. And, and groups are forming. And there's a lot of a lot of cool things happening. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's 2017 shaping up to be a fantastic year so far. Absolutely. And uh, man, I'm not I'm not a huge e- uh, email guy, but I'm going to have to email this pretty interesting video I came across. Uh, I don't want to try to go into it because it had uh, a couple of different layers to it. But, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to uh, email it. And if I don't email it, I have Mark from New York to email it because I sent it to him. Uh, pretty, pretty, pretty fascinating, interesting. Obviously, you know, anything that we watch 
we're not your little bit skeptical, but at the same time, you know, we just don't, you know, completely just rule it out, you know, just see how far it goes. But uh, I'll try to get it out there to you. Uh, okay. Uh, but just to kind of give you an overview, it's supposed to be a video where this guy is supposed to be who who is uh, a part of the uh, Antarctica uh, uh, Defense Force and is going right. to keep the people out. All right. But, uh, supposedly him and a group of guys are trying to uh, expose it. So, yeah, I'll, I'll try to see about getting that out to you. Cool. But other than that, Mark, as always, man, keep up the great work. Uh, let's keep this thing flat, man. And, uh, yeah, man, let's keep on turning up for 2017, man. All right, man. Hey, you have a good rest of your night, okay? All right. Take care, my friend. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Phone number to call in is 720-897-6111. And what's happening tomorrow, by the way, is I'm going to be on Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes with Patricia Steer. That is going to be at 3 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Eastern on YouTube. So check out Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes with Patricia Steer. And here's another call. This one's from... Nope. Pomona just hung up. I don't know why you hung up. I was just going to pick you up there for a second. And this one's... No, 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 no. No, 443. You've already called in twice tonight. I'm not picking you up. I'm not picking you up. No. Not going to do it. I know I know you want to talk again, but no. We're, i got to pick up... There's an international call that's trying to get in. No, we're going to drop you. Sorry. And as I dropped him... There's a whole bunch of people calling in, but I have to wait till it gets to actually to the switchboard so I can actually see them on their way. It's like I can see them from a distance try to come in. Okay, if by the way, if what if the number you're calling in does not make it, for whatever reason, call in the secondary number, okay? 213-233-3998. That is 213-233-3998. And everybody's everyone's saying all sorts of stuff. There's an international call trying to get in here. And he just can't seem to quite make it. Uh, six one. I'm. This is Australia. Yeah, I'm not your friend from Australia. Hey, what's going on, man? I'm All glad right. you got. I'm glad you got in. Uh, yeah, I wasn't sure if it was a uh, rerun show or not. I'm, no, no, it was not a. It. it was not a rerun uh, show. <laughs> no, that's great. No, I was, I was looking to talk about the um, uh, Wi-Fi on airplanes that you guys have in North America. Oh, yeah, yeah, go. We got. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, apparently the deal is that, yeah, there's a geostationary um, satellite 22,000 miles up. That's where the Wi-Fi comes. But I was, I was looking into how, how far Wi-Fi can go under the world record distance for Wi-Fi signal was back in 2007. It was only 237 miles. So it's a it's a bit of a difference between that is, between two thousand miles from a satellite. Yeah, that is pretty amazing. That, that was well, they actually, mm, and, that, it, and it, it was in Venezuela. You did it from a mountain top to another mountain top peak. So that actually proves that the yeah, the flatness of the of the of the plane as well, two hundred and thirty seven miles, because you have to have a, a um, clear line of sight without shaking, no no wind cloud or any of that stuff. So that kind of yeah blows the other water for the airplanes. Good point. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, there's too many and, things. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no sorry. No, you go. Oh, well, okay. So, it, it, as you know, there's, and I don't want to take up too much of your time, but the um, there's so many little things that people miss because, again, they just, they just couldn't see the forest for the trees. Yeah, no, no different than the pilots that are all, all out there that, again, no pilots are in on it because they just weren't looking for it. Why would you? Why would anyone look for this? You all you all know it's a globe, so yeah. all the little things like Wi-Fi distances or why the space race suddenly stopped or the Antarctic Treaty or all this stuff, no one puts the two and two together because why Why would you? You're, you're told since you've been a child and your parents and their parents before them that it's that this is the way it is. So... That's right, and every, everything keeps working the way it says it's, it's working, so no one questions it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quiet. I was, yeah, I was also. Um, have you heard of um, Mad Mike Hughes, the bloke that's doing oh, the? Oh, I've, um, I've heard of Patricia. Patricia's going to be interviewing him. Yeah, and I'm very excited for him, but at the same time, I have my doubts because I've never heard of anyone <sighs> even attempting such a thing. 
And so I'm concerned yeah. that at, at you know, yeah, he, he, he could make the papers, but maybe not for the reason he's hoping, you know, maybe you know, he could, <laughs> he could go out in a blaze of glory, you know, evil Knievel style. Oh well, yeah. I think that's kind of, yeah. What, what, what your next jump's going for? Not really going on blaze of glory, but get kind of getting the attention, make the papers and the headlines. Cause he's oh, going to put the, um, this, like this research be a, flat earth all over Oh, this the, would all over definitely be a big one. No question. Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm going to have a balloon <laughs> take me up. I'm going to have it lift my rocket and then I'm going to fire that rocket off because I want to prove the flat earth once and for all. Oh my God. That's got headlines. <laughs> oh, the, the science. Will, Cause where people will say, Oh, it's reckless. It's irresponsible. And if he, and if something happens to him, God forbid that he dies. Oh, they are going to, the, the, then, then what are the headlines going to be? You know, it has flat earth gone too far. You know, is flat Earth to blame for this travesty? <laughs> what does this say about science? You know, Neil deGrasse Tyson doing a really somber speech on CNN. I mean, it, the thing writes itself. It's great. Oh, yeah. Well, so, either way, it's going to be great publicity. Anyway. Yeah, either way, actually, it's going to be yeah. great. But good, good for him. If he could pull it off, <laughs> great. And if he can't, I hate to say this, but even if he can't, it's still going to be pretty great. And I'm, that's not me being evil or morbid. Yeah. You know full well that the the news you know if it bleeds it leads and honestly he'd probably get higher billing if he did crash which is sad and i'm yeah. not again i'm no. not wishing people, people are listening going oh my god nah. mark he's a mark's a ghoul no he's not i'm i'm a realist when it comes to the media <laughs> so yeah he's got a he's got a go fund page as well so he's thinking he needs a bit more a bit more cash to um get all the advertising and everything on the rocket so oh, yeah. everyone wants to jump on that and donate yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, just a shout out to anyone in Australia as well. Like, yeah, just uh, oh, I've got uh, email address. Everyone wants to contact me at Flat Earther in Australia listening. Uh, it's Aussies Flat Two at hotmail dot com. Right on. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yep. That's fantastic. Uh, good to talk to you again, Mark. Yeah, nice to talk to you, man. Thanks for listening to the show. And uh, now that you know that the new phone system works, we uh, we'll we'll talk again soon. Yeah, we'll do. Thanks, Mark. Have a good night. All right. All right. Have a good one. Bye. Bye-bye. All right. Last chance to call in. I will take exactly one more caller tonight because there's six minutes till we roll the music and get out of here. And it's been nothing but fun with the new phone system. Thanks very much to Chris and Cherie Geo at TFR for giving me this opportunity and for providing the phone system. And I know I've been kind of using my own and, and not doing very well with it recently. That's because Microsoft is terrible when they acquired Skype and integrated a whole bunch of crap. But that's all right. It happens. Look, I've dealt with worse stuff when it comes to software. Do I have time for one more email before I take a phone call? There's just so many, so many things that are coming in. This one's called being tarred with the same brush. Mark, next time somebody connects Flat Earth with Nazis, point out that the next time they see a Catholic priest on the news for pedophilia, that doesn't make every Catholic a pedophile. That make, might make more sense to them than saying ad hominem attack. Rob, staying ahead of the curve. Great. And I know Peanut Gallery's going, no! Okay. Uh, is, can we get one more call in? Can we? 215. Here we go. 215, can you hear me? 215. Yes, I can. Hey, Mark, it's uh, Face and Fake from Boston again. I just wanted to uh, say two things uh, before yeah. I let you go. Uh, yeah. I just wanted to officially invite Richie from Boston because I respect his channel so much. He is putting a massive amount of information out there of all topics, and it's freaking wonderful, and I respect the guy so, so much. So I would love it if he would come. And I also wanted to give out my email because I didn't get to. Uh, it is spaceisfake7 at gmail.com. So if anybody has anything they want to say to me before we meet up, if they want to organize some stuff, please email me. Right on. Perfect. And we're talking about, just for the people that are tuning in late, this is the Boston Flat Earth Meetup at the Boston Common Frog Pond. And that, if I'm not mistaken, I'm going off memory here, that is noon on Saturday. Yeah. Yep. Noonish. Noonish. Whatever, you yeah. know. Got it. All right. Well, all, all right. right. Have a good night. Great show. Right. It was a, uh, I love the new system, too, as well. 
Thank you. Hey, have a good night, okay? All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Well, three minutes and 45 seconds. We can still get one more in if, if you guys are so inclined. Or I can read another email. And Peanut Gallery is going, no, no more emails. This one's called Anonymous Source. Mark, a friend of mine, wrote the attached article. He's a great man of God and a minister if his, of his word for over 20 years. He is also probably the most studious man of God that I'm acquainted with. He has been a geocentrist for the past 20 years, too, like A.W. Pink, Luther, Calvin, and many other men of God were. And he is leaning towards a flat earth. He has not come out publicly about any of this yet, but he may soon. Enjoy the article, and please feel free to share it as much as you wish via any medium. That's from Kevin. Awesome. And let's see here. Quick fake media catastrophe news. Yellowstone super volcano. Yeah, that'll be the day. Yeah, I used to be worried about super volcanoes. Not anymore. Uh, this email, or this quick email is called, how much time I got left? Two minutes and change. So I'm not going to take any more calls before then. We're just going to do these, knock them out real fast. This Literally, this email is called DUDE, all caps, DUDE, one word. Mark, probably Probably, seriously, probably is not really a word. It's probably, probably, don't shorten probably. Probably not ex- important since every other flat earther caught it, but me, but doesn't it seem like Lion King's sex in the sky is almost exactly the same as NASA's? Just another obvious d- dick punch on how they steal millions effortlessly. Hi, ha ha, by the way, love that you read my other dumb email. So say it this time. Mark Sargent, you are, no. I'm not going to say that. You are the crap, brother. Thank you for absolutely everything. Because if I swear on air, seriously, people write me and they say, uh, some strong Christians, and they say, sorry, I heard you use the Lord's name in vain or um, use profanity. I'm not listening. I literally, I remember I started doing the show and two women wrote me almost immediately after the first time I did that. And they just roasted me and said, I'm never listening to your show again. Like, oh, that's rough. Okay, let's see if I can get any more here. Nope, nope, that's too long. Uh, Mark, empty shelves. Mark, thank you much for taking the time to email me this valuable information. You are the best. By the way, I just watched your latest radio show. Always top notch as always. Keep it flat, brother. And that's from Costa. And we got a little time left, so let's do the quick shout-outs to everybody. Remember, there's going to be Flat Earth meetups. There's two happening tonight in Colorado. In fact, they're probably wrapping up. One's in Fort Collins, one's in Denver, where there was some interesting activity there. There was also one in Chicago tonight with Jake Gibson. There's going to be two on Saturday, I believe. One's in Phoenix. One is going to be in Boston at the Boston Common Frog Pond. And then I think the week after that, I think it's July 2nd, if I'm not mistaken, Patricia Steer is going to be hosting an event in Houston, and it's very limited seating, so email her. Uh, you can get her contact info at uh, Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes on YouTube, and that's going to be on July 2nd. And uh, no, I announced the announced the Timmy stuff again. Oh, yeah, yeah. the Yeah, check out uh, IPS, Infinite Plane Society, because rumor has it, is that the number one flat earth troll couldn't resist himself and actually showed up to the Denver meetup and he started streaming it live and we caught it and then we filmed him and bought him a drink. So anyway, guys, until next time. Well, you know what? Come back next time. Same flat time, same flat channel. Earth? <laughs> I had to make a new one. What are you doing? <laughs>